Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, Salamon de Wayne. And Salamon de Wayne indeed, because we are going to be building something that's really close to my heart. This is a new build from IXO Collections over in France. We're going to be building the Peugeot 205 GTI. <music> Now, unlike any build I've done in the past, this is going to hold a place in my heart. Why? Because I used to have one <laughs> back in the early 90s. I used to have a GTI. You know what? If I wish I had it now, uh, but uh, unfortunately that car went a long time ago. But uh, I have now got the chance to build one of my first cars, which as you see has already put a smile on my face. Uh, let me show you the magazine and I'm going to tell you a little bit about IXO Collections and the Peugeot 205 that you can build. Okay, so this is the brochure for the build. As you can see, the brochure's in French. Uh, I will show you how to go onto the IXO Collections website and you can change that to English. You can get all the build instructions in English, but this is what the vehicle looks like. Absolutely brilliant. Now, my one I used to have was blue. Uh, this one's red, but it looks absolutely brilliant. As you can see, it's 46.5 centimeters long, 17.2 centimeters high, and 19.7 centimeters wide. And as you can see, you've got real sort of like rubberish on the tires there. Uh, the engine with all the HT leads uh, is just an absolutely brilliant vehicle. And uh, this is gonna be like a trip down memory lane for me. Uh, that's what the build instructions is gonna be look like. Something that we're used to, to be honest with you. And that is what the finished vehicle is gonna look like as well. Now what I'm going to do is I've put down the link here to the IXO Collections website and if you follow the instructions here, if you are based in the UK, you could just click this uh, icon at the top here and change it to English and as you can see there, all the instructions are in English so you'll be able to follow along with me or you could just follow along with my videos and build this with me. Now they do have an offer on this at the moment where you can actually get the first pack for a cheaper price, but this was only limited. So it has been on for a little while at the moment. So if the code's no longer working, uh, then you've missed out unfortunately. But what I've done is I've put the code down here that you can put in while you're doing the checkout and you'll be able to uh, get this for a cheaper price for boxes one and two. Uh, so remember that, but follow the link and you'll be able to get this uh, all the way from box one. Uh, I at the moment have got 20 12 boxes I think but in box one you do get the first four parts as you can see here which I'm just fanning out there and what we're going to do in this video is we're going to be working through each one of these packs uh, just to show you what you get first off and that's going to include everything you see back there we've got the bonnet we're going to be doing we've got the front uh, sort of like bumper with headlights we've got the tire looks like we've got the steering wheel as well but uh God, this is a trip down memory lane and I just cannot wait to get building this because I know it's going to trigger my memory about my 205 that I used to have, which I really miss now. And you know, what? I can't even remember the registration number of it, which is uh, showing my age now. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're going to be working on part one at the moment, number one. And as you can see in the magazine, it shows you all about uh, the Peugeot car and it will give you all the details about the interior and obviously the build guide. Now the build guide shows you what we get in each pack, which is the inventory there. And then when we turn over, it shows you how we're putting each part behind. Now, as you can see, we're working on some really high precision metal parts here with paint. So I do have my trusty towel to put the metal work on so I'm not scratching it. So I'm just gonna put that to one side. This is the first part that we're gonna be working on. And as you can see, I've just opened that. Look at the reflection in the paint of this uh, metal bonnet here. This is metal. Uh, the back section to the bonnet here is plastic. They do provide us with our own screwdriver here. This, once again, is a PHO screwdriver. I do tend to like using my own one though because I get a better grip on the handle. But if you haven't got one of them, uh, they do provide the screwdriver so you can actually build this as well. All the screws are labeled in this pack as well. As you can see, we've got AM screws there, ready to go. So let's start building. So I'm gonna put my towel down here because we're gonna be taking out the front bonnet looking just like that. How cool does that look there? I'm gonna be putting this face down just like that. And then we're gonna be taking the backing of the bonnet looking just like that and put it over the top here. So it's locked into place. Now we're gonna be securing this in with six AM screws. 
Now these are quite tiny, these screws looking like that. And all we're gonna do is put them in. Now, these screws are going into metal. What I tend to do with metal, because there may be paint in there, we need to cut the thread. I just drop it in a little bit of oil. This is just three in one oil. Any oil will do, any lubricant really, just to help drive that screw in. And it will cut its way through the paint that's in there as well. You don't have to use this by far, but it will make things just a lot easier for you when you're putting them in. You won't have to uh, put too much pressure on your screwdriver here. So I'm doing that with every screw, but I'm not doing them in any particular order, as you can probably tell. <laughs> so we've done three. Let's do the other three. One, number two, and lastly, the one just down the end here. And that's number three, just there. And as you can see, that's in absolutely perfectly. That's what it's looking like from that side. And that's what it's looking like from that side. Now I can put all of this to the other side just for a second because the last things that we've got in here are just the front grill and emblem and all we're going to do holding it this way around is put the Peugeot emblem with two lugs just into the two holes here. Push it in, hold itself in and there you go. So all we had to do in this part was the front and as you can see the lovely bonnet there. So let's move on to part two. So here you go, here's part two. And as you can see in this one, just flicking through the magazine to show you again, what we're actually gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing the front trim here and the steering wheel. It looks like we've got a little bit of a steering rod there to do as well. And once again, you've got full instructions showing you exactly what we're putting together here. So it's looking just like that. This is what part two looks like. So let's get this all open. And the first things we need are parts for the front trim. So we've got the bumper there and we've got the trim for it there. Quite simply, this is just gonna be going into the channel that you can see here. We've got lugs on either side, so it's just a push to fit thing. So what we're gonna do, line this up and push this home. So, go along just like this. Pushing it all in. <laughs> that looks really, really good. <laughs> Last one just going in there. And as you can see, those lugs actually hold it in no problems at all. So you can shake that, that's not gonna come out. But that looks brilliant. You wanna make sure you put it in the right way. So as you can see on the side there, it actually follows the line of the fender there on both sides. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna be putting the registration plate on, looking like that. Just gonna go into these holes at the front here. Make sure you've got it around the right way. So it needs to be facing that way. And we're gonna be securing it from the other side here with AP screws. Now, if it's got a P at the end of it, it means it's going into plastic. So we're not gonna to need to put any oil on it. We only do that if it ends in an M, which stands for metal. So putting this one in here just like this. And one just on the other side here. All the way in. And there we go, that's what the front end of the vehicle is looking like now. We're now gonna be working on the steerage linkage. So we need this section here, and we also need this lovely little piece just in here as well. This is metal, just so you know. And what we wanna do is we wanna put this cross section just into the end here, and we wanna secure it into place with two AM screws either side, where my thumb and finger are there. Now this is going into metal, so I will be putting this into some oil, and I've got an AM screw lined up already for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up just on my mat here, hold it down and I'm gonna get it in from one side. I'm not putting it in all the way, just enough just to hold one side in. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Again with an AM screw. Line it up, make sure it's in. And then just tighten up 
both sides. So then that linkage is in there. It's not going to fall out, but it is still able to turn. We're then going to take the steering wheel. Once again, this is metal, as you can see. We're going to be putting the long shaft area just into the back here. Now, this is directional, as you can see. It's got a D-shaped shape here. That's just going to match the shape that we've got in the back of the steering wheel. So that's going to go in just like that. And we're going to hold it in from this side once again with an AM screw. And it is metal, so I will put a little bit of oil in that as well. Just into the hole at the end there. And you want to make sure this is on really tight. There we go. And that's the steerage linkage now onto the steering wheel. And then we're going to finish it by capping it off with a GTI logo looking just like that. Now this is just a push to fit. So we line up the lugs and then push that down. And there we go, that's the steering wheel and the linkage complete. So with these two sections, that's part two completed. Now when you get this, you get an idea of some of the free gifts that come with this. They may change over time, but at the moment, as you can see, I've got a brilliant hat here with a Peugeot 205. They've got a metal plaque, which they're advertising on this one as well. Uh, but let's show you what's in part three. Again, some of the mechanics and machinery that went into making the 205. And as you can see on this, we're doing the bottom fender and grill on this. And once again, all the instructions, really big, colorful pictures. I love this. I love how this uh, is easy to follow looking just like that so let's do part three now for part three i am putting my towel back down again because we are working with metal that's painted and is looking pristine at the moment i want to keep it that way so i'm putting it on a nice soft surface here we're going to be putting the grill into place now this is what the grill looks like and this quite simply is just going to go into this area at the bottom here it's connected from the back so this is actually going to go on like that so it fits flush but it's going to be connected into the two screw holes that you can see here and here and those screws are BM screws so once again I'm going to just drop them in a little bit of oil there just to help cut them in and then we'll put one in this side that's going in absolutely perfectly and just one on the other side here that's him and as you can see that's what that looks like when it's completed now, if you can see on this side here, we've got a gap in the bodywork. We're going to be fitting the toe eye, looking like that. The amount of times I had to use that, I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, we're just going to slot the actual toe eye through so it comes out the front there, looking like that. And once again, we're going to hold it in place just on this side with an AM screw. So I've got that here, quite a small screw, that one. Touch it in a bit of there, and then we'll line this up to put this into place. There we go make sure that's nice and tight in there and there we go that's what the toe eye is looking like there and now we're going to make the first set of lights these are the reflectors here and we need the lenses which are these yellow lenses here now if you look at these lenses you've got a marked side which is this side here you want to make sure that, that marked side space down so this is just going to go over the top just like that now this is going to be held into place with some bp screws now the bp screws are really tiny as you can see just in there and for that reason they provided a really tiny screwdriver to help you out to get these in which i think is brilliant that they thought of that see so i can put this in here and screw that into place now i don't think my pho screwdriver would have picked them up so uh well done ixo collections because i don't actually own one this small like that but that's working an absolute treat. So here's the second one. Now you're going into plastic, so you only want to do it hand tight on both sides. Don't do it too much because A, there's a danger you crack the plastic and B, you could round the heads, which you don't want to do. So the screw will just keep going around. So that one's in. Let's do the same on the other one. So once again, just make sure we put the right side up, which is this side here. There is actually an indent here, so the indent needs to face up. That way the screw will go all the way down. That's going to go in just like that. And once again, we're going to load up one of these tiny, tiny screws. I've just also realized that this tiny screwdriver is magnetized as well. So it picks the screws up brilliantly. 
but there we go that's that one in last one it's just going to go into the other side here just like that there we go so we've got two lights looking like that so what we're going to do is we're going to be putting the lights just into these indents here and as you can see we've got two little places for these to go it's going to be holding like that and held in on the other side here with ap screws now i've looked at these parts they are pretty symmetrical so i don't think it matters what way you put them in but uh, i'm going to put one in now and we'll have a look how this looks so put the first one in here and that will hold that into place another ap screw just on the other side there nice and tight and there we go that's what that should look like when that's in do the same just on the other side here so that's one and the last ap screw here just going into here number two so now that should look just like that it looks good doesn't it and now we're just going to be putting these brackets that look just like that just above them on these two holes here now they are labeled l and you've got one for r as well now when you look at the vehicle this side is the right side this side is the left side so this side is the right side we're going to want the one that says r make sure that the letter r is facing up and this is just going to go into this just like that and it's going to be secured in to this bracket here with bm screws once again going into metal just a drop of oil it's not going to hurt putting a bit of oil in there line that up there and we'll put a bm screw in there to hold that into place that's one let's get the other side in And there you go that's the first one in there we're going to do the same on the other side and when that's done they should both look just like that and that's all there is to do in that stage uh, let me just show you something else in the instructions which i really love that once you've done everything that it asks you to do there at the end it just gives you a quick overview of everything you should have done which i think is really good to review uh, what you need to have made sure just in case you've missed anything out but uh that's that stage complete Now in stage four here, which is the last one we're doing on this pack, as you can see, a little bit more about the vehicle here. And now we're gonna be fitting a tire. They have gave us some tweezers in this one, which is good as well. Uh, and all we're gonna be doing is putting the rim into the tire. Uh, we do have a washer and a hub to go on, but we won't be putting those on straight away because obviously we wanna affix these tires to the car. And that's a review of everything that we've got to do. So let's get that open. And before I go into it, look at that. A brilliant lot set of tweezers here, which uh, I don't actually own any round headed tweezers like this. So once again, this is brilliant. This is gonna be invaluable. We've got the uh, hub and the washer, which we're gonna need to keep safe. And we're gonna be putting this rim here into the tire just like that. Now, when we put this in, it's gonna be quite hard to actually manipulate this round because the tire is really hard rubber. We need to soften this up. So what I'm gonna do is put it in some boiling water, then I'm gonna be pushing this rim into it. So then the rim will be around this edge here and uh, we can actually work with the rubber here to get this over the top. So let's get some boiling water. So as you can see here, got some boiling water. I'm just gonna drop that into the water. I'm gonna leave it for about one to two minutes in there to soak nicely. So while that's doing that, I'm gonna bring over my towel again because I don't want to get too wet. We put that down, ready to push this into place. There we go. Now I think that's soaked long enough, so I'm gonna get this out of the water, and then we're gonna push this into the channel, bending this around. You see how much more manipulative it is now? You can really stretch this out to get this through the tire. So I'll do this side just like that. Keep pushing it around so it's all in place like that. See, pretty easy. And then just dry that off, just like that. And as you can see, you've now got a tire that's gonna harden like it was when you first saw it before I put it into the water there. Uh, and I said, keep the hub cap and the washer safe. 
because we're going to need that for when we attach it to the vehicle. Uh, but that's all there is to do in that stage. So if I just move this towel away for a second and we put that down there, what we've done in box one is basically the bonnet and grill. We've done the tire and we've done the grill here with the uh, reflective lights in there, just like that. As you can see, I've got a big smile on my face. I can't wait to get cracking for this. I'm going to try and get one of these done uh, each week so you can see me working through the boxes for this. I believe it's about 25 boxes uh, to actually have this completed. Uh, and I've got up to box 12 here. So uh, you'll be able to follow along with me. Now, if you want to build along with me, all you need to do is go down to the IXO Collections website there. As I said, I do have a promotional code at the moment, but it's a limited amount of customers. So if that stops working, that's it. It's done. But uh, by all means, go and check their site out. You can get some of these free gifts like you see I've got here. Let's just have a show you of that actually. The 205 GTI and IXO Collections hat, which I'm uh, wearing with pride. And uh, I'm going to see my youth on the shelf eventually. I can't believe they're building my car, which I really do wish I had now. Anyway, listen, I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, Take care.